What's up everybody and welcome back to another video by Pink Lame. Okay, so first, as you can see, I am painting a small 12 by 12 canvas, which I've already outlined in black paint. I first actually sketched it out in pencil and I will be painting it in the style of those two pieces in the back, which is like very colorful, kind of abstracty type style. If you've been following along on my Instagram and seeing some of my latest pieces, you'll see that that's the new style that I've been kind of dipping in. So. Alright, so first as you can see, I'm starting with the blue paint. Um, I'm using a flat brush, like a medium small size. And I'm just going in, adding in some blue, and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so right here I started adding in another blue color. It's like a light blue. Um, I don't have the bottle in front of me to give you the exact color. I'll link all the colors below, or list all the colors that I use in this piece in the description box. So just kind of going in and adding this lighter blue in different areas. And the idea is to cover the whole canvas and not leave any white areas.
as you can see right here, I've worked my way up to a third color. I am using a lavender purplish color. And just, like I said, adding it in random places. Um, kind of putting it near the other blue paint that I've already laid down on the canvas. And if you guys plan on painting something similar, you know, just have fun with the colors and just pick random parts of the canvas. Normally when I paint these type of pieces, I don't specifically have a direction as to where I'm going. You'll kind of see that's a running theme in a lot of my paintings. I don't always pre-plan everything because I like to just let my mind flow. And I just believe that art is a matter of expression and just letting, you know, just things just kind of come off on the canvas you know in accordance to how you're feeling and your mood and at that exact moment so hopefully that makes sense As you can see, I've already started adding in multiple colors, um, just going in, filling out the white areas, and just trying to see where this piece evolves with the colors. I'm really liking where it's going so far with the yellow, contrasting against the blue and the purple. Um, this is the first coat. Usually when you're using acrylic paint like this, you want to use a few coats of paint just to make sure it's nice and smooth and clean. And I did forget to mention that I'm actually using acrylic paint. Okay, so right here is where I'm beginning the process of kind of going back over those black lines that I had in the beginning and going over it back with black paint and darkening them in, making the actual image in the background pop up. Well, at this point, the foreground. I hope that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but you get the idea. Making the image of the girl really stand out from the colors on the canvas. So here I'm just tracing her hair, grabbing more paint on the brush, going back on the canvas. I love really black, thick, bold lines, I'm sorry, on colorful canvases. I think that's just so bomb and it just makes this really vibrant pop art.
Okay, so right here I'm actually adding in some words, and this is one of my favorite sayings lately, which is focus on what you love. And for me, that's really big, especially being an artist. I think for 2019, I almost lost focus of what I love because I kind of felt that I was ready to quit art. And then I realized that's that's my passion. That's what I love. And I just can't give up on art because I feel like, you know, pieces aren't moving fast enough or I'm not getting enough support from people. But the main thing is if you focus on what you love, you'll be okay. Okay, guys, right here, I messed up on the canvas. And <laughs> my finger smudged the painting. Okay, so here it goes. Focus on what you love. This piece is almost finished. I'm just adding in some white highlights just to kind of make the black lines pop. So this piece is finally done. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you like this video, comment below, subscribe, just show your girls some support. This piece actually sold last night like really fast, so I'm sorry. I would normally say, oh, it's for sale on my website, but it's not. Um, however, I will have prints available soon for purchase. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you follow my Instagram at pinkdomain underscore and make sure you check out my website. That's www.pinkdomain.com. Until then, peace out.